So with tomorrow marking the release of Throne and Liberty, I thought I would share with you guys a couple of tips and tricks that will sit you ahead of the curve. Hello, my name is Chiku, and do keep in mind that tomorrow I'll be doing a 24 hour stream while trying to aim for 48 hours. Definitely come hang out as it will be a lot of fun. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first tip on this list is commit to the main story. So early on, the only thing you're going to be focusing on pretty much is your main story. That is your number one thing. And it's going to be showing as the purple indicator. And you will simply follow it across the map. Make sure, however, while you do your main story to unlock all the teleportation uh, stones that you come across because it will help you navigate through the world easily instead of having to run forth and back when you can simply teleport. The second tip on this list is the blue quests. I mentioned before that early on it's better to skip them. However, there is one thing that I would like to mention. If you are very familiar with the blue quests and you know what you're doing, in this instance, definitely do all your blue quests early on alongside your main story. That's totally fine. But if you are not familiar with the blue quests, that's when I recommend you skip ones that you don't know what to do right off the bat don't even waste time on them but the ones that are just straightforward do them and get them out of the way the third thing and this is very important by the way is the events keep an eye on the milestone and for those of you that don't know the milestone the milestone is just an icon that is going to be showing on the right side that will be for the whole server and once the first milestone is done the first event is going to be unlocked so you would need to rush there as fast as you possibly can because events give a lot of xp and on top of it it gives you mats if you rank up pretty high on the list so make sure to keep an eye out on the milestone make sure to rush to the first event so that you don't miss out on xp and mats because that will actually sit you ahead as a little tip however when you're doing these events please read what the npcs are saying during the event because they usually give you tips of how to actually min max your uh ranking uh another tip that i would like to mention on this list is to constantly upgrade your stats and gear uh what this means is that whenever you're leveling up always put your stats right away every level pretty much every two levels try to put your stats actively as it will make your leveling easier when it comes to killing the mobs and all that and at the same time your gear make sure to upgrade even your starting gear as i said before get your starting gear to the max level which for gray gear which is the starting gear is level three because that will help you not only finish your quests faster but also once you get your green gear you can then transfer the xp over which will save you some mats for the green upgrades lastly on this list we have the tatel's tower or the solo dungeon you will unlock this dungeon at some point as you progress through the story do keep in mind that it will ask you to do the first floor or two it was the first two floors i'm not sure they changed it however if it is still the first two floors do the two floors and leave just come back to it later when you're more geared more leveled so that you can have an easy time doing it without wasting too much time in there and if you watch this video until the end i would like to also give you one little tip i would like to say uh for those of you that have never played the game uh, you will hit a quest in the game that will tell you to kill one of the mobs that will spawn a soul and then you will need to follow that soul it's going to be in carmine forest where the spiders are once you kill that ghost soldier or whatever it was called when you follow that soul it will take you to a stone a teleportation stone that you can unlock and then if you keep following it it will go down the stairs do not go down the stairs because th there will be an elite mob that needs to spawn at the very first steps of the stairs so just stay there get that unlocked because you will need uh to kill that mob if you want to progress further in the story and after you do that it will simply take you to the dungeon do your dungeon quests which will ask you to kill a mob or two finish that and get out once again and come back to that later with your party as it's not beneficial to be there solo with that out of the way i hope to see you guys tomorrow on stream i hope you'll enjoy the game take care as usual Stay safe, see you tomorrow, and peace.